Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video we're going to look at this. Yes, if you haven't worked it out yet, this is a Super Nintendo emulator for the Surface RT and it's available from the Windows App Store, which is interesting for two reasons. First of all, it's as I believe it the first emulator of any kind to arrive on the uh, uh, Windows Store which opens up the avenue for many other emulators for uh, Mega Drive, Nintendo, uh, N64 possibly and anything else you can think of uh, of video gaming yesteryear. The other interesting aspect is that of course ROMs are a bit of a controversial issue whether they are legal or not and the general answer is they're not legal however this has passed the Windows uh, scrutiny I guess uh, and the only reason can be that this is an emulator and of course it's not um, it's not actually running the ROMs itself, the ROMs don't come from the emulator you get them from elsewhere so it's a bit like torrenting, it's used for uh, I suppose malicious purposes and in this example I am just using it for illustrative purposes so let's quickly have a look at how well the game runs, well as you can see I've got controls on the left and right side so uh, we'll get straight into it um, let me just press a button, I don't want two players, so let's give that a go. Now this is Smash TV, so it's going to be incredibly hard to play on this controller, the touch screens, uh, but we'll see how well I can do, and it probably won't be for very long. So I use one controller to uh, fire, and the other to move, and this is almost impossible uh, with a touch screen as I thought it would be so I'm going to pause it right there because the good news with this uh, game is that or the good news with this emulator is that it was recently updated to accept Xbox controllers uh, so let's give that a whirl and see how uh, much of an improvement this is there are no specific um, mappings uh, I think it just maps automatically and logically to what you would expect it to be so let's just zoom out a little bit and let's carry on playing with the controller and see if we can do any better and as you can see now it is much easier to play and I'm basically using a Xbox controller to play this game so what else can we look forward to? Well possibly and here is a big hope is that somebody can develop an emulator that allows you to use Windows programs of yesteryear. Of course there is something called DOSBox uh, which allows you to play all the Windows programs on the new Windows 7 and Windows 8 operating system because it's an old operating system and it doesn't quite work well uh, but DOSBox allows you to do that. Will DOSBox be available for the Surface RT? Well one hopes so. So as you can see I've demonstrated quite well that this is working and very very reliably, there's no slowdown whatsoever. The only disappointing thing is that you can't change the uh, visuals, uh, you're stuck with this kind of letterbox uh, view uh, obviously because first of all it needs to control uh, the controls on each side I can change that if I go to settings and go to input I can uh, turn off touch controls and it does hear it, say here that this emulator does support up to two players using an Xbox controller so I guess there's potential to plug in a USB hub here and then plug in two controllers in order for it to work. Now as I said uh, there doesn't seem to be any uh, key bindings, it's all uh, correctly mapped though on the controller which is fine but as you will see if I just go to the uh, settings again the video uh, although you can't really see it very well here so let me just zoom in uh, there is no options here to change the uh, aspect ratio so you are pretty much stuck with this view so there is one test left, one test left to do and it's a question of is this going to work on HDMI so I can put this on the big television well let's find out Okay, so I have now plugged the Surface RT into the television. I had to uh, stop the application and run it again just to make it work, but it does work. A couple of things to point out before I start playing the game. Uh, the resolution, as I've uh, demonstrated in previous videos, is not perfect on uh, my television. I believe it's something like 1024 by 768 uh, so I do get a bit of a stretched look about it. And I've also got some borders here on the television as well. Another weird thing that's happened as well is that the frames per second has jumped uh, up to 70 uh, rather than 60 and the game is running faster than it should do. Uh, you might not be able to notice it but I can tell on this game that it's running 
probably about 30 to 50 percent faster than it should do, which is going to cause uh, a couple of problems if you're playing uh, particular games. Uh, obviously on this one it's not too bad, um, but here is a demonstration of something that you may, might make you go, wow, this is uh, a good tablet to use. This is a bit of an old trick to me, uh, because I've had an Asus Transformer Prime which uh, could do this before, uh, but it's something new to you probably, that using a um, emulator and plugging it into the HDMI to into a big television essentially means that I now have a Super Nintendo console uh, working. Uh, this is a, a, an early run of the application, it hasn't been out for very long so we can only hope that uh, there will be improvements made to it to show you that it will work even better and more reliably and potentially more options as well uh, to use. If you have any questions please do ask, I will do another video on this application um, in a uh, app snack to give you sort of a full and brief rundown. This was a, just a quick demonstration and illustration, uh, just doing it on the fly to see how it works. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video. And if, ha if you haven't played this game before, Smash TV, it is a fant fantastic old arcade game and I always love playing it. See you again soon and uh, Merry Christmas in case I don't say so in another video.